Having been a pastor for many, many years, I've had the honor, the privilege, and the opportunity to officiate at all kinds of funerals. And one of the passages of scriptures that I like to use is from 2 Corinthians. And it goes like this, 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 7. For we walk by faith, not by sight. We are of good courage, I say, and prefer rather to be absent from the body and to be at home with the Lord. To be absent from the body and to be in heaven. And so, having done all kinds of funerals, I mean, I've done my mom's funeral, my brother's funeral, my sister's funeral, my one of my best friends when the church just got established. And one of the great things is to know by faith that they're absent from the body and present with the Lord. I mean, nobody likes death. No one likes funerals, really. But being a Christian sure makes a difference. I love the story of a man by the name of Henry Durbanfield, who tells of a woman who lived in southwest Scotland, who always wanted to visit the great city of Edinburgh, but she was fearful. She would have to take the train and go through a very long tunnel to get to Edinburgh. And finally one day, life circumstances and details came to the place where she had to go to Edinburgh. So she boarded the train, she was very nervous, she was afraid of the tunnel, she didn't want to go. And on her way there, being kind of elderly and tired, she fell asleep. And when she woke up, she was already through the tunnel and was in the city of Edinburgh. And I think that's somewhat like what happens to a Christian. You know, none of us want to die, none of us want to go through that darkness, none of us want to experience it, but I believe we just kind of fall asleep, we go through that experience, and we wake up absent from the body and present with the Lord. So the scripture says, we walk by faith, not by sight. And we have that great hope and promise that we will awaken in the presence of the Lord.